question number 38 is very similar to question number 37. What we're doing is we're solving an inequality that contains two variables. When you're solving an inequality with two variables, that takes you to two dimensions, which means that you're not solving on a number line, but rather your solutions are going to be ordered pairs in two dimensions. So you need an x-axis and a y-axis. Basically, you need a piece of graph paper. So come with me to the paper. Let's look at my problem. Here we go. Question number 38. 6x plus y is greater than or equal to 3. Now eventually we are going to solve this on a piece of graph paper where we have an x-axis and a y-axis. And our solution is going to be the ordered pairs on this piece of graph paper that make this true. The best way to do that again is to start off by telling a little lie. All right. Step number one is tell a little lie and your lie is going to be to pretend that the original problem was just an equation, that there was no greater than sign in it. So we're going to write 6x plus y is equal to 3. Now, this is going to be a line when we graph this equation. Its graph will be a line. In fact, the boundary line to this solution. I like to graph lines by putting this equation into slope intercept form. Therefore y is equal to the opposite of 6x plus 3. Remember this number is your slope and this number is your y-intercept, your b value. Always begin with the y-intercept. So to graph this boundary line we go to the graph paper and on the y-axis we find the number 3 and we put a dot there. So what we did is we began with the number 3 on the y-axis. Remember that negative 6 is the slope. The slope is really negative 6 over positive 1. Slope tells us how to count. So we go to our graph paper. The negative 6 on the top part of the slope tells me to go down six units, down one, two, three, four, five, six, so we've gone down six units, and the one on the bottom is positive, it tells me to go one unit or one block to the right. Now, I look back at the original problem. The original problem says greater than or equal to, all right, the equal to means that the points on the boundary line are included in my answer, and the way that I make sure that the person reading my answer knows that is by making the line solid. So whenever you have a little equals to under your inequality sign, the boundary line is solid because the points are included as part of the solution. Now what we need to do is we need to pick a test point. A very good test point to pick here again is the ordered pair 0, 0. It's right there when I go back to the original inequality and I test 0, 0, all right, I'm testing the origin, which is the ordered pair. This is my test point. The ordered pair 0, 0. I go to the original problem and I put 0 in for x and 0 in for y. 6 times 0 plus 0 is greater than or equal to 3. Let's see if it is or not. This becomes 0 0 is greater than or equal to 3, which is a resounding no, it is not. Therefore, when I look at 0, 0, I know that that is not part of my answer. Therefore, the points below the line are wrong, which means the, part, the points above the line are correct. They're my yeses, so I shade in the region above the line, and the boundary line is also solid. So, Big difference between this problem and the last one we worked. This boundary line is solid because of the equals. The last boundary line was dotted because the equals was not an option in the original problem.